Secret guardians, starry bright, fiery ones beyond our sight, saints of yore, Buddhas too, guiding lights to me and you. Welcome back to the Secret Guardians podcast. If you haven't already, make sure you listen to chapter two of The Girl Who Walked Into the Light, which will catch you up with the story. It's linked below. In this chapter, Jen learns that she seems to be the only one who can see the colors that surround all living things. She says, I simply saw emanations surrounding individuals. To me, they were just colors that flowed around and through all living things. She also learns that these colors are luminous energy fields that surround and interpenetrate all of life. Besides her initial research in the Ardoin Library, where she finds out that the colors she is seeing are called auras, she does not take up a detailed study of the subject. Rather, she is instinctively wary of where such unschooled exploration might take her, especially after her grandmother, Mola, tells her to forget what she is seeing. Despite her pledge to Mola to ignore her gift of inner seeing, she continues to study this phenomenon from a safe distance, the roof of her townhouse. From a perch on the roof of our row house, I would watch the tufts hanging out on Crumlin Road below. The hollowed out ones struck me the most. It was as if their souls had fled or died. The house lights were on, as it were, but no one was home except the lugubrious spirits that had taken root within. Primitively aware beings, ash grey mostly, like shadowy crows feeding on carrion. Seeing these lost boys would tear at my heart. What Jen is seeing are lost souls who are inhabited by discarnate entities that live off the life energies of these individuals. It is a sad state of affairs on earth that there are many who are in such a low state of consciousness. Though it is an unpleasant subject to consider, know that entities do exist and do attach themselves to souls. Let's end this discussion on an upbeat note. A fundamental principle of spiritual physics is that where one's intention goes, one's life energy or light flows. So, if we focus our thoughts on the higher virtues, we are much more likely to attract goodness and goodwill into our worlds. This is such a simple principle, but it's powerful and it's worth remembering. Till next time, may you walk in kindness, in the light.